I was driving the car. Oh, God, I'm the monster that ruined T.C.'s life? Eve, did I just hear you say that you were driving Julian's car the night of my accident? That you were behind the wheel that wrecked my car? That ruined my life and caused my father to die of a broken heart? Oh, T.C. Oh, God, it's true, and I'm so sorry. I... Yes, it was me. I was driving the car. I, I was behind the wheel when, when Julian's car broadsided yours. Eve, you were driving Julian's car? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I told you. I told you, T.C. It was Eve behind the wheel that night, not Julian. They have been trying to keep the truth from you. But I told you I saw the proof on Alistair Crane's CDs while Luis was decoding them. And now we've caught Eve in her biggest lie of all. Letting Julian take the fall for the worst thing that ever happened in your life. That's not true. I lied to Eve. I told her I was driving the car that night to protect her. That's true, T.C. I didn't lie to you earlier. I honestly didn't remember being in Julian's car until now. I mean, much less that I was in an accident. Though I, I thought at some point that I had dreamt it. And I, I went to Julian, like he said, and he assured me that it was just my imagination and that he had been driving the car. And it wasn't until just now that... But it, it all came back to me. I saw myself behind the wheel and I realized the truth. That I'm to blame for the accident. It's all my fault. Oh, yes. Yes, it is her fault. She just said she saw it in a dream. She knew all along that she had hit that car. No, T.C., believe me. I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. How is this possible? I don't understand any of this. How could you be driving a car? How could you hit someone and then leave and not know if they're dead or alive? And then forget that it ever happened. How the hell could you leave me to die? Answer me, Eve. How come you can't remember the accident that changed my life forever? It's not like I never mentioned it. I railed about him being responsible all this time. Now I'm supposed to believe that you can't even remember the night of the accident, much less that you were the driver? I didn't remember, I swear. Eve was probably driving drunk, or so high on drugs she blacked out at the wheel. I didn't black out. I wasn't paying attention to the road. Then what were you doing? <laughs> oh, I want some more champagne. Oh, I'm sorry about it. That was all wrong. I was asking Julian for more champagne. More champagne? You were driving drunk? It was my fault. I should never have let her drive after she'd been drinking. No. No, Julian. Eve was an adult then. She knew that drinking and driving wasn't right, but she did it anyway. Do you know that your little drunk driving binge cost me more than a wrecked car? It wrecked my dreams, Eve. It ruined my life. It cost me everything that my father wanted for me. When my father realized that I wasn't going to play tennis again, father was a broken man. I blame you, Eve. I blame you for all of this. No, oh, T.C. I thought it would be hard enough trying to put our marriage back together after finding out that you slept with Julian and had his child. But this is a thousand times worse, Eve. Every time I look at your face, Eve, I'm going to see my father's ghost. All of his dreams were shattered because of you. I spent years years hating Julian, hating him for what I thought he did to me. I thought that he was the enemy, but
But he wasn't the enemy, Eve. I was sleeping with the enemy. I was sleeping with someone who pretended to be my wife, who pretended to be a loving, a caring mother for my family. But you were nothing but the enemy all along. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, when I thought you told me about all of your horrible secrets, I find out that there's more. I didn't know, TC. You have to believe me. I didn't remember any of it until just now. Julian convinced me that it was just my imagination. He wanted to protect me so that you wouldn't hate me. And I believed him until now when it all came rushing back to me. And that is the truth. I swear it. She's lying, T.C. Stay out of this, Liz. If you didn't remember that you were responsible for the accident, then why did you think the Crane Foundation financed your education? What? Oh, yes. T.C., it was all on Alistair's CDs. Eve's entire education was paid for by the Cranes to keep her quiet about the wreck. See, Alistair was able to hide the proof that Julian's car was involved. And of course, Julian wasn't saying anything. So that left you, Eve, the only other person who knew the truth about what happened that night. And if you'd ever come forward to say that Julian's car was the one that hit TC's, that would have been enough for T.C. to sue the Cranes for millions. And Alistair wasn't about to risk losing a court case to a black man. So he paid you to keep quiet, and you did. You never said a word, Eve, not in all those years, not even to your husband, who just happened to be the man you hit. Eve took that hush money from Alistair and kept Wyatt about the accident. No, I did not. Think about it, TC. Julian was involved in a hit-and-run accident. And even if he wasn't the one driving, Alistair was not about to risk the bad press, much less having Julian be brought up on charges. So he got to Eve, paid for her to become a doctor in exchange for her silence. What? Ironic, isn't it, TC? Eve got a successful career, whole new future out of destroying yours. Is Liz right? No, oh, of course not. I never took any hush money from Alistair Crane. I mean, why would I? I didn't even remember being involved in the accident. Then why would he pay for your education? Why would he give you all that money if it wasn't to keep you quiet? I never thought the money was from Alistair Crane. I thought it was from Julian. I thought he was helping me because Alistair made him leave me when I was pregnant with our son. The money was from you, wasn't it, Julian? Oh, T.C., now you have to believe me. I would never knowingly take hush money from Alistair Crane. I, I didn't even remember the accident, much less that I was driving Julian's car. And for anyone to say differently, they're telling a damnable lie. T.C., you have to believe me. I would never take blood money from Alistair Crane. He's a monster. He knows where my son with Julian is, and he won't tell us. You didn't tell me that you had a son with Julian. Aunt Irma did. Everything you told me has been a lie. Eve, I don't know what to believe anymore. That's because Liz has you so confused, honey. She's just desperate to keep us from reconciling. Liz told me the truth. You were driving the car the night of the accident. I admit it. After denying it. I Listen, didn't Eve, remember. I don't even know who you are anymore. You're not the woman that I married. You're not the mother of my children. I don't know what the hell is going on. I mean, everything has just been one lie on top of the other. Oh, Will you just shut up, okay? Please, just shut up. You have taken everything away from me. I don't have anything else for you, Eve. Nothing. I am through with you, and I am through with your lies, and I want you to get the hell out of here. You get out now and take him with you. Peace. Go. Just leave, Eve.
Let's go. I won, Pop. I won. Congratulations, son. I knew you'd make your old man proud. You're going to be a star, TC. Fame, fortune, love, and happiness. You're going to have it all, son. I would have had it all if it weren't for Eve. Now I lost it all because of Eve. I'm so sorry. So very sorry. 